In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the BME NOC321 IP forwarding service in an N580. The BME NOC321 control network module provides Ethernet transparency between the control network and the N580 device network. There are three ports on the front of the module. The service port and the bottom two ports are the control ports. The backplane port is to communicate with the CPU or through it to distributed I.O. devices, modules on the remote I.O. network, or remote I.O. subrings, etc. The service port can be connected to either a NOC 301 or NOC 311 to communicate with a distributed I.O. network when the port is set to extended network mode. My demo consists of an M580 and two NOC modules, the NOC 311 and the NOC 321. I have a distributed I.O. device, in this case is the TSIS Island, connected onto the CPU device port. An M340 PLC connected onto the NOC 311 device port, and my PC is connected onto the NOC 321 control port. The service port of the NOC 321 is connected onto the service port of the NOC 311. And the service port of the NOC 321 is set to extended mode. As you can see, there are three different networks on this demo. My PC and the NAC321 are on the same subnet. The M340 is on the same subnet as the NAC311, and the TSS Island is on the same subnet as the CPU. Take a look at all the different IP addresses for all devices we need to configure. Most importantly, take a look at the default gateway address for each of the devices. For example, the IP address for my PC will be in 192.168.1.101 subnet of 255.255.0.0. The default gateway address will be the NOC 321 IP address. Similarly, the gateway for the M340 PLC will be the NOC 311 gateway address, and the gateway for the TSS Island will be the M580 gateway address. The goal of this demo is to access the web pages of the M340 and TSS Island from my PC. And even I'm going to connect to the M340 PLC from my PC. In Control Expert, I've created a new M580 project with the two NAC modules and security unlocked. All IP addresses have been configured in order to save time. Here is my PC IP settings, where the default gateway address is the IP address of the NOC 321. Here are the settings for the TSS Island, uh, where the gateway will be the M580 gateway address. And lastly, here is the M340 IP settings, where the gateway address for the M340 will be the gateway address of the NOC 311. Next step is to set up the IP forwarding service. Under Tools, go to the DTM browser. Double click on the NOC 321. In order for the IP forwarding to work, we will have to enable the backplane port. Under Switch, select Yes to the backplane port. Click Apply. Under Services, we're going to enable IP forwarding. And under the service port, we're going to select Extended Network. Let's go back under the IP forwarding. And in here, we need to set up the correct gateway IP addresses for the device network and for the extended network. So in this case, it will be here the M580 gateway IP address, which is 172.16.3.1. And for the extended network, it will be the uh, NOC 311 gateway address, which is 10.10.0.1. Click Apply. And let's build that application and download it to the controller. No errors. Now, from the command prompt, I need to add the static routes to direct the traffic to the appropriate NAC 321 module. The syntax for the command is as follow. Route add dash p, which stands for persistent, 
anything on the field bus network, which is 172.16.0.0, subnet of 255, 255, 00, and then the IP address of the NAC 321 module. Now I need to repeat the process for the extended network, and that will be route add dash p anything on the extended network, which is 10.10.0.0, .10 .0 .0, subnet of 255, 255, 00, and then the IP address of the NAC 321 module. Now I'm going to ping all the devices in my demo, starting with the thesis island, which is 172.16.2.50. And I got a reply. I'm going to ping the M340, which is 10.10.20.1. I got a reply. I'm going to ping the NAC 311, which is 10.10.10.1. And got a reply, and lastly, I'm going to ping the M580, which is 172.16.1.11. And now let's check the web pages. Let's type the IP address of the M340. And here's the home page. Let's check that this is island. I need to log in with my credentials. And here is the uh, web page for the thesis island. Now I'm going to connect to the M340 controller on the PLC set address. The IP of the M340 is 10.10.20.1. Test the connection successfully and under PLC connect. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.